In this video, I'll walk through how to create transitions between your screens in Origami. Origami 2.0 introduced a faster way to create flows between screens called Quick Interactions. I'll walk through how to use this new way of creating transitions, as well as how to create manual transitions with patches for more complex interactions. We're going to be recreating the flows from Boomerang by Instagram. Creating the transitions between each screen, as well as adding a scroll interaction to the Boomerang screen. To get started, Make sure you have the origami file open from the lesson downloads. To create a quick interaction, click on the quick interaction icon in the toolbar. Then click on the layer you'd like to trigger the interaction from to the artboard you'd like to present. You can also hold control and drag from the layer to the artboard you'd like to present. Click and drag from the boomerangs preview in the camera screen to the boomerangs artboard. You'll see a tooltip where we can choose between a tap, double tap, or a long press interaction as well as the option to present or dismiss the screen. Click OK to create a quick interaction with the default options. You'll notice this adds an interaction patch to our patch editor. Quick interactions are really just a shortcut for creating interaction patches. Let's try creating this next flow between the boomerang screen and the share screen manually. Select the boomerang we want to add the interaction to from the canvas. In the layer list, click on the circle icon on the open share layer. Then select tap to add a tap interaction. Now with the share screen selected, drag from the tap output of our new interaction patch to the present property of the share screen in the inspector. Refresh the prototype and you should be able to click through the camera, boomerang, and share screens. Now let's set up our dismiss interactions. We'll do the rest of these using quick interactions to save time. Control drag from the back arrow in the title bar of the share screen to the share artboard. This will trigger a dismiss animation for the share screen when you tap on the back arrow. Do the same thing from the X in the boomerang's title bar to the boomerang's artboard. One thing to note when creating multiple quick interactions is Origami will often stack these generated patches on top of each other, so double check that your new patch isn't being obscured if you're not seeing it show up. Alright, so this is looking pretty good. One thing that we'd like to change is the transition between the camera and the boomerang screen. In the final prototype, the boomerang screen animates up from the bottom instead of in from the left. We can change this by clicking on the boomerang screen and then in the inspector, selecting modal as a transition type. You'll notice that this also updated our dismiss transition, since the transition type is being applied to the artboard. Now, one final touch we can add is adding a scroll interaction to the boomerang's grid. In the boomerang's artboard, select the boomerang group, click on the circle icon to add an interaction, and select scroll Y. By default, Origami will set the scroll bounds to the parent container of the layer you add your scroll interaction to which in this case is the Boomerang artboard. So to summarize, quick interactions are a great way to save time when creating flows with lots of screens in origami. The underlying patch logic is still the same whether you use quick interactions or decide to connect your patches manually, so you can use whichever method you feel most comfortable with. That's all for this tutorial. Check out some of the related learning content at the bottom of the page, and be sure to play around with the examples.